Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. My name is Harris, once again, joined by Justin, and today is going to be uh, us reacting to episode two of Loki. Yeah, last week's episode was, like, pretty crazy. That's the, really the only word I could say about it. It just completely changed everything I originally thought about the Marvel Universe. Mm -hmm. Like, as you saw in our last week's reaction, they literally had Infinity Stones in a drawer, in a drawer. and yeah. were using it as paperweight. Yep. Like, what? Yeah, we got like the biggest information dump. Like totally, it like it went like in a one eighty in a sense, right? We found out like uh, the the TVA, the Timekeeper people, are just God and and themselves. You know, everything is predetermined, predestined. Um, we also got introduced that to the the Timekeeper, the the realm, the world. You know, we saw like those floating cars and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked pretty crazy. For and sure, then, we got introduced to, I'm guessing, the other main character, Mobius. Owen yeah, Major character. Mobius. He'll probably play a huge role. I wonder if he'll stick around for the rest of the Marvel Universe or if he's going to die at the end of the series. Uh, I yeah, haven't I don't seen know. anything related to like Owen Wilson and Marvel past this uh, series, so I'll be interested with that. Oh yeah, something I mentioned in last week's episode, I, I thought that the, um, uh, the, um, the horns, devil, and... Um, the church and was uh, Mephisto, but I had gone and rewatched the episode again, and then I saw an article by the that the director said that the character was not Mephisto, but it was Loki, and that the horns was to represent how like Loki is kind of like this kind of like anti character, so to speak. Like we know okay. the Loki that was kind of good and went through his trials and tribulations throughout all of uh, like the Marvel movies, but. Uh, this Loki hasn't gone through that yet, and also the like we found out at the end of the episode, they're trying to catch another Loki. So, kind of trying to represent, I think, the different forms, the different of Loki. dimensions or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I I thought it was Mephisto. It could still be. Maybe the director was lying, trying to keep things hidden behind the scenes. Because I feel like we've been teased that character a lot. It was teased in Wanda. Now it's teased in this show. Uh, makes me think he's gonna pop up somewhere, but who knows. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely just excited to keep the show going because there's just a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Like Harry yeah. said, that we got in the last one. Who knows what the if we'll see the hooded figure too in this episode? But true. I don't know. But with that, let's go ahead and get started. Yo, what if those things are not real? What if they're just there because to say they're real to make people scared? Like, what if they don't actually exist? Like, we don't know they exist, right? They just. That was just a story. It was just a story. But and I mean, Loki looking at this world, it, how can they How can they lie about that? Well, I mean, maybe like the Time Variance Authority is like, that That exists, right? But maybe the timekeepers themselves don't exist. And that the people who control time are actually these people. And that they just say, and that they make people scared to attack them because they say they're like Time Lords who control everything. What or, the heck is this? Some medieval action. Oshkosh. Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, Wisconsin. I thought this were going back to like <laughs> the Middle Ages. Can you imagine if this has actually happened to us, but we don't know because we've been men in black? Ooh. Oh, no, that's, oh, that's no, Loki. No, that's definitely Loki. Yeah, they, that, uh, I'm guessing that's Loki, but that Loki stole the same thing in the last episode too. It keeps taking those time resetters. What? What is it? Yeah. It's Bitcoin. It's when the TVA can no longer <laughs> yeah. reset. Yo, this is this is the future. Apparently, we got Bitcoin talking to us. Yo, Loki got a job. He's got his own cubicle and everything. Yeah, he has to serve his sentence somehow. Are these the other Lokis? Yeah. So now these are all the Lokis, huh? Dude, what do you think about it? Like the timekeepers are just basically watching a movie, and they're like, "Yeah, let's edit this out." Let's we have edit to edit this out. this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. They're they're constantly in Adobe Wait. Premiere and then they just have to keep cutting cutting yeah. stuff. So is he playing them while the other Loki's playing everybody? <laughs> okay, see, I think she might be like the head of all this. Like we might get an Agatha uh, situation with her all along. Not like she's evil, but maybe the Time Lords don't exist and she kind of controls everything. Or she's probably like the pawn, right? Like she's like the head hot. She's okay. So she's the CEO of the TVA. Yes. And then she reports to. So she says. The lizard. To the time yeah. lords, yeah. I don't know because I've never met him, thankfully. Although I should. Yo. Oh. Wait. Can't, can't they just 
write it then if, to get the variant caught? If they're monitoring, can't since they control everything, can't they just say, all right, we're just going to erase the variant? Can't they get involved? Yeah, right? But can't they just do that at the snap of the finger or something? Aren't they just yeah. that good? What is Damn, it going to do? Follow all that shit? Oh yeah. my god. They got this man doing paperwork. What a shit computer. Like, what is this? I know. Come on, they got to be better technology than that. Yeah, this is the thing that controls every everybody. Like, you can't get some, like, custom PCs and stuff? Dual monitors? Destruction of Asgard. Oh, yes, Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what happened during Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to watch the movie. We got it in written form. Only thing that you had to go to was shitty Thor 1. It's Asgard. No, in this scenario. It's not Asgard. It's, it's, it's a magical ship. Just hang in. He's about to ruin his salad. He's about to ruin his lunch, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Are we, are we gonna get to see the volcano explode? Yep. Yeah, if they save the town. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way, right? Because if the town gets destroyed, that's what's supposed to happen anyway. Yeah. They probably think he's the village idiot. Yeah. And then, here we go. Boom! Well, we're about to go through a bunch of natural disasters. Run! Yo, are we in a philosophy class, man? <laughs> They're getting deep with They're getting deep, yeah. That's that's the thing. Again, we can't tell you what's gonna happen because it won't happen. We protect what branches. I see. Yeah, the in Adobe Premiere just editing it out what the, what they want. <laughs> Until it's wiped out by a hurricane. All right, already here first. Alabama will be wiped out in 2050. While the variant should be known. Damn, Alabama must get wiped out. Yeah, uh, what is it, a hurricane? Like, how bad is this hurricane? Class 10. How bad did we shit on the earth? I know. Yeah, like last episode when Loki got you and sent you Rewa and Rewa. Yep, oh, he's, yeah, he's here. Is that a bomb? A reset charge. Shopping for plants. During a hurricane? Yeah, yes. what? This is some sort of trap. Ooh. Yep. Oh, this is the Loki. Hmm. Me, I presume. Please. Oh, it's the person from the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. Oh. Yep, you're done. <laughs> Come on, Loki. <laughs> Thank you for helping me stall for time. I was about to be like, doesn't these randoms have the same power? Or no? Is this just enchant? I don't think so. I think they're just like. Like under her, the other Loki's control, but don't have the magic power. He should just be able to use magic. What is he doing? Yeah, what the heck is this? I feel like he's making this fight a lot harder than it needs to be. Bro, even in 2050, all the products look the same. We still have robot dogs. Yeah. There it is. Oh, let's go. A female Loki. Okay. What is going on? The fuck are those all reset charges? Eric from Drake and Josh? <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh, you you think that's what she's doing? Just erasing all the natural disasters so that I'm so confused. What is her plan? Yeah, he's definitely walking through that door. Good job, Mobius. No! Fuck. Wow, that was a way to end the episode. Okay, so... How do you th What do you think she did at the end? I, like, you think she just erased all the natural disasters, like you said? I, I feel like that's what ha that's, that's that's her goal, right? Like, I, I actually don't know what she's doing. Neither do I. Okay, we know from... Serious. From that um, captured person that the captured agent she said that she told the, that loki where the timekeepers are and how to get to them right so yes uh we know that loki wants to do something with the timekeepers i guess we don't know what um and she collected a lot of reset charges 
So I, I think your theory that maybe she's like erasing all the natural disasters so that like those were things like we even got that mention, right? Like you can do anything up until the natural disaster because that's what's supposed to happen. But if you reset all the natural disasters, like you are just screwing up all the different parts in the timeline. Like we saw at the end, like the sacred timeline just got like bombed, they said, right? Yeah. So I think that makes sense. That's probably that's a pretty good theory that maybe that's why they have to either fix all of that stuff. Or they, well, the timeline would just explode, right? Basically, I guess, because there's so many different variants now, because I guess each natural disaster got erased. So now there's just so many different variants. Um, I mean, I've tried to like figure out if there's any like process what just happened, but I think that's a pretty good theory you had. That's probably, I feel like that's what's happening. I don't know if it's like clear to anyone else. Like, I'm just still like, I have the biggest question mark. Like, who's this? What what this female Loki is and what she's doing, like, I'm not sure. All right, so do you think since we got like our cliffhanger was that Loki went to wherever the female Loki went? Do you think they work together, or do you think that Loki will, uh, the Loki we know, will play the female Loki and then betray her in the end? Well, I mean, he's the god of mischief, so I'm I'm assuming the betrayal. Yeah, that's part. true. Yeah. At some point, I agree. We'll probably see something. I did not expect a female Loki, not going to lie. I thought they definitely misdirected us with all the um, different variants we saw at the beginning of the episode. Like how we saw an ogre. I think we saw like a bigger Loki and then a smaller one. They didn't show us any uh, female ones. I guess that was on purpose. Um, so yeah, <laughs> female Loki. I wonder if there's going to be a female Thor from that world too. So I <laughs> will figure out. Well, yeah, um, I mean, isn't Thor and Love of Thunder going to have a female Thor? Like, isn't... Natalie Portman is going to become female Thor or something? Oh, I thought she just got her, his powers. But is she actually going to be like female she, Thor? I mean, that's, that's going to be female Thor, right? I would assume. Oh, okay. Maybe, okay, so this maybe this all ties into the like multiverse. I, I'm guessing uh, this phase is all going to be about the multiverse. That's like my guess right now. Like All the movies are just going to have a multiverse thing aspect for it. And I'm definitely here for that. It's just like, that's going to be crazy. Different variants, different... People like this show is definitely just setting up for the next batch of movies. This is gonna be insane. Um, yeah. So what we're getting today is just like Lady Loki just opening up, you know, different breaches in time to make new variants or something, just to cause chaos, I guess, to like just go against the TV. True. Or... It is mischief, like you said, God of mischief, and that's like Loki's character to a core. It doesn't matter what variant it is, right? So maybe. Huh. Yeah, this is this is great. Uh, I mean, it's not clear to me, but I'm assuming that's what that's what's happening. But it's it's exciting. Like, I want to see what like this female Loki, like who she is. I mean, if if this is just like a Loki in a different like different point or something, or no, for sure. Like now that we know that the Loki is not like the same Loki, it's this it's a female Loki, right? So does yeah. that mean that female Loki's life was the same? And that, that yeah. female Loki was going to die yeah, by Thanos. Know, I want to know more about the, the background. What what does the female Loki, like what her life is, right? Is Does she yeah, end up like basically sure. the same thing? Like does she die to Thanos in a, in an, a very <laughs> extraneous yeah. like point in time or whatever? Or like, what is it? It's kind of, I guess it, this kind of like reminds me of like Doctor Who in a sense where, you know, it's a different, like the same doctor just gets Trent like made into a female Right, because it was like it's mostly male. Um, and I think I've never seen the, Doctor Who, so I I, I wouldn't know how to. Yeah, the first that, but... the first twelve Doctors were all male, and then the thirteenth one was was female. Oh, female. Okay, interesting. I yeah. I haven't watched Doctor Who since Matt Smith. Which oh, was so you haven't 11. watched the female Doctor Who then? I haven't. I never watched the twelfth or the thirteenth. Like I kind of stopped mm, after okay. those, but um, yeah. But I just but yeah. I hope next episode we see more of like where this female Loki comes from and, like, what her real inte probably. intentions are. Agree 100%. We'll probably start off the episode, hopefully, with, like, an interaction with them or trying to solve what just happened. I mean, yeah, like, that I was think... really just the end, right? There was so much... There was, there was like, like a... everything picked up at the end. I think, like, most, yeah. in this episode, there was just still more information that was just being dumped in through, like, basically the entirety of the thing. And then, then we see, like, the, the revelation and the end. And it's just, like... This Loki has just been taking charges. That's where the assaults have been coming in from the TVA. Mm -hmm. She's just been stealing reset charges the entire time, so she can just like fuck up 
the timeline just create whatever like yeah 20 billion opportunity oh like breaches nexus events or whatever now that you mention it, it has me thinking also after watching the episode like the they definitely know right if the timekeepers control time they have to knew this was gonna happen this was gonna happen can't they right? can't they yeah. just stop it so uh this is making my like how i mentioned I in the beginning like i don't could. think they exist okay you don't think they exist no i think they're just like figureheads I mean, I could be wrong about that. That's that's what I'm gonna put out there right now. I think they're just figureheads, and that they are just used to threaten, like people from doing stuff, and that the TVA is really like what exists, but there's no timekeeper. Okay, sure. so it's kind of like a think tank situation, right? There's like yes, maybe like central figureheads that are there, but I I mean I think that they're there. I actually think that they do exist in some way. Okay, but... okay, so maybe now that you mentioned, maybe they did exist. And, yes. and maybe they still do exist, but they don't have the power that people say they do. But maybe it's like, not physical. Maybe it's like a consciousness, right? Like some sort okay. of like maybe computer computerized thing. That's why I'm saying think tank in such a way, right? Because they have like, they probably like died or something, right? But they uploaded their consciousness or whatever. So okay, to, that's to maintain some sort yeah. of control. And then it's like, you know, they still control it from like a distance. Or... They just don't exist entirely, and it's just an idea, like propaganda or some shit. Yeah, that's why I'm leaning. But I like your theory that maybe they're consciousness, or maybe... I, I don't think... They, they might exist, but I don't think they have power, is what I'm saying. I think, like... Sure, maybe it's maybe just, like, things... fear. Yeah. It could, be, it could be fear as, like, their greatest weapon. And then they just control their workers to, like, keep the flow of time, like, all there and stuff. Like, make sure mm -hmm. no one messes with it. Yeah, because when uh, Mobius mentioned when he was meeting with the the head person that he's never met them, that like stuck with me. Yeah. I was like, all right, like but I did think the uh, did the CEO chick she knows them, right? She says she knows them. She's like they're very busy, like they're trying to reset, right? Like we were we were talking about the editing room, but, but there's no I don't like, know definitive answer. She's lying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, my, I think my two biggest things from the uh, this episode was that the timekeeper stuff, and then the end, obviously the bombshell that was like female yeah. Loki. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited for the rest of the series. These first two episodes have been really good. They've definitely kept me engaged in the mystery. Like yeah, I I just want to know, like, what who they are. I just want to know who the Doctor Who people are. Like the, yeah. the timekeeper. I just want to know. That's like yeah, the biggest I agree. thing. For sure. And then so just why, why Lady Loki is just doing everything that she's doing, like opening up these holes. I mean, we're almost halfway, right? These six episodes. So this is six episodes. Yeah, this point. is episode two. Crazy. Next week, we're going to see like the halfway climax point, and then it's just like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> basically downhill from there, I guess, like a the conclusion wrapping up. But yeah, this is a pretty crazy episode, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments and what you think is going to happen. Are the timekeepers real? Do you think Lady Loki has, like, a big plan overall? Or does she just want to screw up the timeline? And, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let us know what you guys thought, like I said. And do you have anything to wrap up, Harris? No, that's pretty much it. I can't wait to see what next week brings us. So until then, stay tuned. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and everything like that. And we'll see you all for next week for episode three. So. Yep. Y'all take care and have a good one.